Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome to another video for MRCS exam. So first of all, read the question. So here, which muscle is supplied by the superficial peroneal nerve? So superficial peroneal nerve, it is a nerve and it supplies which of the muscles? That means the superficial nerve which supplies which of the muscles. So first of all, we have to find out the superficial peroneal nerve and the muscle which is supplied by the superficial peroneal nerve. So here are the options. The options are peroneus tertius, sartorius, erector magnus, peroneus brevis, and gracilis muscles. So we have to find out one of the muscles which is supplied by the superficial peroneal nerve. So let's see first uh, some of the picture of the superficial peroneal nerve and the uh, uh, a brief discussion about the superficial peroneal nerve. And finally, we will get the answer here. So here we can see uh, this is the common fibular nerve or common peroneal nerve this is the common peroneal nerve the common peroneal nerve after passing the neck of the fibula it divided into two parts one is the superficial peroneal nerve it and another one is the deep peroneal nerve the superficial peroneal nerve it descends down on the lateral side of the leg here we can see and some other branches of the here we can see this uh, cutaneous branches of the superficial fibular nerve because the superficial fibular, fibular nerve is supply some of the muscles and on the other hand we can see the deep fibular nerve which arises from the common fibular nerve uh, with the superficial fibular nerve it uh, runs along the anterior surface of the leg uh, with the tibial artery so here we can see the deep fibular nerve and superficial fibular nerve and both arises from the common peroneal nerve or common fibular nerve superficial peroneal, peroneal nerve or superficial fibular nerve it runs along the lateral surface or lateral side of the leg on the other hand the deep fibular nerve it runs uh, downwards along the anterior surface or anterior part of the leg in the second picture we also see the same picture but in a different way that means here is the common peroneal nerve after passing the neck of the fibula it divided into superficial peroneal and deep peroneal nerve here we can see the deep peroneal nerve it runs uh, uh, in the lower part and supplies the different muscle around here and the superficial peroneal nerve it also supplies the different part and finally it ends into the foot so here we can see this is the popliteal fossa in popliteal fossa here is the common peroneal nerve where you can see here this is the common peroneal nerve at first it was in, uh, in the middle of the popliteal fossa here here when it arises that it arises from the sciatic nerve so from the sciatic nerve two nerve arises one is common peroneal nerve um, another one is tibial nerve so the common peroneal nerve at the upper part of the popliteal fossa arises from the sciatic nerve so this point is also important because question arises sometimes that the common peroneal nerve and tibial nerve arises uh, at which of the level it is the upper part of the popliteal fossa and sometimes question arises common peroneal nerve and tibial nerve arises from which of the nerve it is the sciatic nerve so from the sciatic nerve two branches arises one is the tibial nerve and another one is the common peroneal nerve and common peroneal nerve it arises at the upper part of the popliteal fossa in the middle part then it descends down and comes to lateral end and finally it reaches here that means the anterior almost anterior part of the leg and it divides into two parts one is superficial peroneal one is another one is deep peroneal nerve so here in this picture we can see the superficial fibular nerve uh, first of all common uh, fibular or common peroneal nerve then common peroneal nerve divided into deep peroneal nerve and superficial peroneal nerve and superficial peroneal nerve it downs runs downwards uh, at the lateral side and it supplies two important muscle one is the fibularis longus or peroneus longus another one is fibularis brevis so superficial peroneal nerve it supplies the two muscles one is the peroneus longus another one is the peroneal brevis in the second picture we also can see this is the fibularis longus or peroneus longus and another one is fibularis brevis or peroneal brevis so this two muscle is supplied by the superficial peroneal nerve and this is the peroneal compartment or lateral compartment of the leg so uh, 
uh, now see the lateral compartment and anterior compartment of the leg muscle here we can see muscles of the leg anterior compartment and lateral compartment and there are another compartment this is the posterior compartment so let's see the anterior compartment and lateral compartment so lateral compartment first of all when i uh, we see here this is the peroneus longus or fibularis longus and fibularis brevis or peroneus brevis and this peroneus longus and peroneus brevis they lies in the lateral compartment of the leg and it is supplied by the superficial peroneal nerve here we can see this is the superficial peroneal nerve and the second muscle peroneus brevis it is also supplied by the superficial peroneal nerve so peroneus longus and peroneus brevis it lies at the lateral compartment and it is supplied by the superficial peroneal nerve in the leg on the other hand in the anterior compartment we can see there are different muscle one two three four important muscles and the muscles are tibialis anterior muscle extensor hallucis longus muscle extensor digitorum longus muscle and peroneus tertius in this picture this is the tibialis anterior then extensor hallucis longus then extensor these four these are extensor digitorum longus and finally peroneus brevis in this picture we can see this fiber this is the tibialis anterior and just lateral to tibialis anterior this is the extensor hallucis longus because it uh, inserted in the uh, that means in the toe then this four digit this is the extensor digitrum longus and another one is peroneus tertius so this important four muscles which lies in the anterior compartment and the all muscle of the anterior compartment is supplied by the deep peroneal nerve we can see deep peroneal nerve deep peroneal nerve deep and deep peroneal nerve so the anterior compartment muscle they are supplied by the deep peroneal nerve and on the other hand lateral compartment it is supplied by the superficial peroneal nerve and in case of the leg these two compartment is very very important with the another compartment this is the and that is the posterior compartment which will be discussed in another lecture uh, in another question and answer session as this is the question and answer session so lecture will be reduced uh, to make it easier or palatable for you so this anterior compartment and uh, here uh, this point is to remember that the peroneus tertius the peroneal actually the lateral compartment called the peroneal compartment so peroneus tertius should be in the peroneal compartment but not that so these points have to be remembered very very carefully that the peroneus tertius is lies in the anterior compartment not in the peroneal or lateral compartment the peroneus tertius the peroneus tertius muscle it lies in the anterior compartment of the leg not in the lateral or peroneal compartment of the leg so a special attention focus a special attention with this muscle because the other muscles such as tibialis anterior extensor hallucis longus and extensor digitorum longus there is no chance of miss so only peroneus longus this option will uh, misguide you that it should be in the lateral or peroneal compartment so finally which of the muscle is supplied by the superficial peroneal nerve it is the peroneus brevis muscle other muscle here such as the peroneus tertius uh, this was uh, discussed that the peroneus tertius it is the anterior compartment muscle sartorius sartorius is the anterior thigh muscle adductor magnus this is the adductor compartment muscle of the thigh that is the adductor compartment and gracilis this also the adductor compartment muscle of the thigh so our final answer is peroneus brevis and superficial peroneal nerve it supplies only two muscle one is here the peroneus brevis and another one is peroneus longus so thank you all